Hi, I'm Andy with Line 6. We're here today at Kraft Music to talk about the Firehawk 1500. Make sure you check out KraftMusic.com, home of the bundle. Firehawk 1500 gives you the same great amps and effects that you had on the Firehawk FX, but now it's going to give you a six-way speaker system with plenty of power for any performance on any stage. Like all members of the Firehawk family, the Firehawk 1500 can be controlled from any compatible iOS or Android device, which you're going to be seeing me use to control some of the functions today. I'm also going to be using the FBV3 controller so I can control all of these parameters by my feet. Firehawk 1500 is not only a great electric guitar amplifier, but it's also a great acoustic guitar amplifier as well, and we're going to hear that in just a little bit. On the back panel, you're going to notice that we have monitor in, so I can plug in any full range instrument, such as a keyboard, a synth, or even my monitor sends from front of house. Like all members of the Firehawk family, as well as the Amplify family, we have graphic editing capabilities. We're going to take a run through a few of the presets, and then I'm going to also be making some adjustments on my applicable iOS device. We're going to start off with the very first preset, which is the Plexi Lead 100. Using the graphical editing, I'm going to bring up my drive as well as the presence just a little bit. The next preset we're going to take a look at is the black bass double vibrato. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit as well as add some reverb. The next preset we're going to take a look at is a Class A style preset. I'm going to drop my drive as well as bring up my bias. And now let's take a look at a high gain preset like the tread plate. I'm going to be taking down the drive as well as the low end. So as you can see, it's really straightforward to make changes in the graphic editing system. Let's take a deeper dive into what we can do with that. Firehawk 1500 is going to have the same amp, cab, and effect models available in the Firehawk FX, which means you're going to have all of your pod farm amp models as well as all your pod HD amp models. These can be selected by setting on the upper left. When you take a look here, you're going to see all these pod HD amp models available to you. Then below that, we're going to be able to see all of the traditional pod farm amp models. Let's say I don't want to deal with a high gain preset. Maybe I want something more American sounding. All I have to do is go to the upper left and select type and then you're going to notice four categories of amp models here available to us. If I want an American style amp, I'm going to select American. And now you're going to notice all of the HD amp models at the top. And then you're going to notice that the pod farm amp models are below that. Maybe I want something that's more of a British sound. Well, I can just go back on that type and go into British. And here's where I'm going to see all of my traditional class A and kind of chunk amps. So I'm going to see my HD amp models at the top, followed by my pod HD amp models on the bottom. Editing the effects is also incredibly easy using the graphic interface. All I need to do is select any of the effects that I want to look at, like for example here I've got delay. I'm going to select that, and now you're going to notice all of my parameters are here. If I want to change my tap tempo, I can tap that into a different tempo. I can change my mix. If I want to adjust my time, I have two different options I can do here. I can either have it in note values to my tap tempo, or if I want it to be in milliseconds, I can just select note and then switch it over to milliseconds. Let's say I wanted to add an overdrive pedal. All I'm going to need to do is go to stomp, and I'm going to see all of the controls for the overdrive pedal that's already assigned. Maybe I don't want to use what's here. Maybe I want like a scream or some sort of overdrive. 
I can select Stomp in the upper left, and again, you're going to notice all your HD models on the top, followed by the traditional pod farm below. The Firehawk Graphic Editor is also going to add the ability to control any external pedal that you want through the effects loop. This can also be assigned to a foot switch here. The nice thing about the effects loop is it's going to give you a separate color so it's easy to figure out which is your effects loop, and then you can also control your send and return and mix levels. Another nice feature about the Firehawk system is that you're going to have a built-in looper. The looper's right here, and it's going to give you the ability to control your playback and overdub levels, as well as high-pass and low-pass frequencies. You may have already noticed in the graphic editor that your signal chain is listed at the top. So starting here, we have the instrument, into the gate, into the volume pedal, and so on. But this doesn't mean that I'm stuck with what's already written. For example, if I want the delay after the amp modeling, I, all I need to do is grab the delay, and I can move this to anywhere I want in that signal chain. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using an FBV3 foot controller today. What I'm going to do now is show you how you can actually assign any of your effects to your controller. Going over onto the graphic interface, I'm going to actually assign that delay to the fourth foot switch. And now you'll notice on the pedal that I see the same green LCD on FS4. Some of the bundles at Kraft Music are going to combine the FBB3 along with the Firehawk 1500, so be sure to check those out for a great deal. Firehawk 1500 is an extremely versatile amplifier, and not only great for electric guitar, but also great for acoustic guitar as well. We've got a great bank specifically set aside for acoustic and bass instruments, so you're going to get great sounds right out of the box. Remember, this is a full range speaker system, so with the combi jacks on the back, I can connect a digital piano, synthesizer, or even aux sense from front of house. Anything you need to monitor on stage, this is going to work. So that's Firehawk 1500. It's a great all-purpose stage amp for both electric or acoustic guitar with additional graphic editing options as well as control options through the FBD3. Once again, I'm Andy with Line 6. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure that you check out the great bundles at Craft Music.